Let's play quietly, quietly. Hi everybody, this is Brian here from Let's Play Quietly, and I am beginning a playthrough of a new game by Ska Studios called Salt and Sanctuary. I'm actually really interested in playing this game because I've heard it compared to Dark Souls, but more of a 2D version. I have never even played this game at all. So we're going to jump right into a new game and learn together. Oh, let's see. Our name for this playthrough will be... Fella. Um, if you've listened to my other playthroughs, then you know that I like to name my characters after characters from the fiction that I write. I don't know what kind of character creation we have here, but we're going to find out right now. I really like the art style already. Um, let's see. And I'm a big fan of character creation. Let's go with... I like that style. Um, let's see, eye color. Origin. How oh, we get to pick the place that we come from. Interesting. Um... Ooh, that one looks like, uh, at the very least, dark elves, possibly vampires. Hmm. Maybe more of an alien, orcish type of character. Door Isle, Tannin Beer. Let's go with Ascaria, which I think is what they started us with. Class. Oh, I like some of these classes. Okay, so Mage, Knight, Paladin. I'm always a sucker for faith builds. I wonder what the faith magic is like in this game. A uh, Thief is fun. A Chef. That looks like a throwback to the dishwasher, which this developer had done before. Cleric, Popper, Hunter. I think I'm going to start with a Cleric, and we'll see. Oh, you know what? No, let's go Cleric. Okay. Effects, Red Shards, Stone, Cell Sword, Amber Idol, Grasping Ring, Crystal Sphere. I don't know what any of those things are. Let's go with Amber Idol. Okay, venture forth. Let's see what this game has to offer. This world has known for war for centuries, but peace is finally preciously near. We deliver the princess to the kingdom across the sea, where a marriage alliance would save us all. Failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. Okay, X is jump. Square. Uh, triangle seems to be special move. Switch weapons with my shoulder button. Block with the shield. Roll. Okay, we've been boarded in the night. They want to kidnap our lady, ransom her. Oh. Okay, 
I guess we're not playing around. Definitely want to use your shield in these situations. special moves, but those other guys aren't going to wait for us to do them. Okay, I don't know if I have any sort of... Oh, apparently I do. Okay, I can heal myself with the R1 button. Mend. Oh, I didn't mean to press it twice. Blessed page. Mend. Okay, we're going to keep that handy. So far, we're fighting our way out of this, uh, boat. Holy crap. I was not ready to face a boss already. Uh, failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. I awoke to the sounds of waves washing on rock, and I knew I was alive. I must find the princess. Oh, okay, so maybe we were meant to lose that battle. Okay. So I still know the spell that I knew before. This game is beautiful already, by the way. Shivering Shore. Well, hello there. You're just a fleshy bit of flotsam washed ashore with the rest of us, hmm? You'll want shelter, you'll want sanctuary, but what is a sanctuary without faith? There's an empty sanctuary up the beach, you can claim it for your creed. Do you keep the new gods? Well, I am a cleric, so I'm going to say yes. Most men follow the three deities, the king, the knight, and the judge. The king lends wisdom to men who lead, the knight protects warriors in combat, and the judge guides those who maintain order. Are you a follower of the three, then? I would say yes. Here is a candelabra of the three, icon of your creed. I wonder what that does. L2 shield. Oh, okay. So these are like the, uh, in Dark Souls, you get the small messages. Wall block is square, wall blocking is parry. Oh, okay, good. Right two is roll. It's going to take me a while to get used to these controls. seem like I can. Left one, switch loadouts. Let's try our mace for a little while. Oh, switch items. We did that, right? What does the candelabra do? I don't know yet. View inventory options button. Okay. So this must be our first home base, so to speak. R1 is Claim Sanctuary. Oh, okay, if I use my candelabra, I'm claiming it for my faith, I guess. Wow, this is very much like Dark Souls. Level up, Tree of Skill. So let's level up. We need more salt. Okay. This is the skill tree. 
Okay, so... Wield class 1 hammers and axes. Wield class 1 swords. Gain 1 point of willpower. Determine your stamina. This is magic. 1 point of wisdom. I think this is going to be the faith build, yeah. So I think I'm going to want to go this way. So I think I'm already here. Do I have any skills to... No, I can't do anything yet. What's make offering? Nothing to offer. Okay. So I'm assuming that's sort of a save point for me. Let's go see what we can see. Abandon your hope, fool. <laughs> I wonder if you can leave messages for other players. Kill, crack, and find quest. I wonder what's in here. Red shard, pouch of salt. Okay. Well, I have mend, so I'm going to keep that in my quick slot so I can heal. Oh, wait. I can't get in there. So the mace definitely swings slower than the, uh, than the dagger I had before. Okay. But it's definitely more powerful. And it's got a longer reach, which is pretty awesome. Dark Soul 3 is near. These are definitely messages that are being left by other people. I just haven't learned how to do that yet. Pouch of Salt. Okay. I'm just going with this right now. Okay, so my mace is a two-handed weapon. But if I switch back to the dagger, I can use my shield, so... It depends whether or not I want a turtle. I can't cut these guys down, so I guess I'll just go in. The Festering Banquet. I can tell you that I already love this game, even though I've spent about 10 minutes with it. enemies are respawning. Let's heal up. Let's keep that shield up for now. Which makes me go slower as well. But so far I really, really, really like what this game has to offer. I'm gonna go up the stairs. It's got a little bit of a Castlevania vibe to it too, I think. those guys down here. I need to be a little bit more careful. I thought maybe I could go down there, but it doesn't look like I can. Let's see what angle this guy has. Oh, okay. It looks like the floor is more solid there, so I can't get those guys.
interesting. These are all ways out. A torch and a throwing dagger. Um, I think I want to go back down here first. I can't get through there. I wonder. Okay, let's try this way. That's a door that's locked. We'll have to come back to that. Oh, I didn't mean to jump that far. It looks like some of the enemies respawn, so I'm definitely going to want to figure that out. Let's try out here. Stone, mer stone merchant. Okay. Gigantic dog, holy crap. Okay, that's not good. Holy crap. Oh my god, I didn't know that was gonna happen. <gasps> Son of a bee, where the heck am I? I'm caught behind some invisible wall. I have no idea where I am. I don't know if I just encountered a bug or what. I'm stuck. I have no idea where I am. I wonder if I'm going to have to go and reload a previous point. I think I do. Stats will be saved. You will be returned to your most recent sanctuary. Okay, well, I just got to a place that I couldn't get through, so. Let's continue and see where we pick up from. At least it load us, loads us back in pretty quickly. I'm going to see if this door is able to be opened at all. I guess not. We're going to skip right by these guys. We're gonna go right in here. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I played that extremely poorly. guys is probably the best idea. Oh, crap. Okay, we're doing a little bit better this time. Pretty sure I went out here before, right? Okay, there was nothing there. Okay. Oh, I think it was up here that I went out. And then somehow I ended up getting trapped. Um. Oh, that's what it was. It was behind that rock. Okay, I really need to remember how I want to do this now. So let's go. Let's go with the mace. So we opted for quick hits that time around. I didn't want to give that thing time to uh, settle in on me again. A bell of return. 
That seems like a homeward bone from Dark Souls. Okay. Wow, it's going to be really easy to get lost in this place. A red shard. Uh-oh. Was I poisoned? I think I might have been. This is where I might have to fight a boss. I did get poisoned. Okay, I have to be really careful about that. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. Oh boy. A bandaged ring. I wonder if I can use my... Nope, I was hoping that monolith was going to be some sort of a save point, but... Pouch of salt, red shard, blessed page, what does that do? I have no idea. Oh, I think it's a buff. Okay. So that replaces a little bit of health. All right, let's see what we find in here. I was hoping to find another save point, but I haven't. And there's a lot of stuff that I'm missing. Let's go down here for a second. And just see. Um... Feels like this might be a shortcut. Oh, it is a shortcut. Awesome. It's locked. Okay, but that's good. I just unlocked a shortcut. Super. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just want to make sure this is a pouch of salt. Okay, that's good. So we unlocked a shortcut. I have a feeling we're close to fighting our first boss. Red Shard. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, what 
is that? We're close. Yep, the sodden night. Oh boy, this is not gonna be good. Stolen 180 salt, returned to his location to slay. <sighs> I think that's actually going to wrap up this episode of uh, my first Let's Play for Salt and Sanctuary. In the second episode, I will go back up against the Sodden Knight and hopefully have a different outcome. So, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to our YouTube page, and I'll be back soon with another episode of Let's Play Quietly.